हे एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल माई नेम इज राकेश गुप्ता आई एम को होस्ट ऑफ सेल्स फोर्स ऑटोमेशन आवर एंड ऑथर ऑफ ऑटोमेशन चैम्पियन डॉट कॉम आई डू होस्ट अ वीकली ऑफिस आवर फॉर सेल्स फोर्स फ्लो दैट हैपन एवरी सैटरडे एट टेन ए एम सेंट्रल इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू सेल्स फोर्स फ्लो फील फ्री टू ज्वाइन आई विल पोस्ट द कमेंट ऑफ ऑफिस आवर रजिस्ट्रेशन इन द यूट्यूब चैनल डिस्क्रिप्शन इन टू डेज वीडियो वी विल लर्न हाउ यू कैन इंटीग्रेट सेल्स फोर्स with google time zone api to bring time zone related information using salesforce flow without any code let's start with the requirement first so requirement is whenever a lead gets created and lead lead has a geo coordinate information then we wants to make a call out to google time zone api and bring time zone related information like dst offset raw offset time zone id and time zone name so this will help you to schedule a uh, outbound email or any email communication in the user's time zone before we get started there are few prerequisites first go to the google time zone api and read the documentation documentation is very fairly straightforward uh, google will provide you some example how you can call this uh, google API and the response looks like in JSON or XML depends on uh, which tools and technology you are using to pass the response. But in this case, we are going to use HTTPS kit and we will use Salesforce Flow HTTPS call out to call make a call out and get the response. So there are two things: request and response. When you want to do the request via HTTPS call out, you need entire URL and this URL has three parameters. If you look at here. this is first location which is your coordinates longitude and latitude then timestamp which is the the desired time as second since midnight january 1st 1970 and then your api key and this is how the response looks like response will provide you of information like time zone name uh, raw offset uh, time zone id error messages dst offset and a status and based on this uh, you can check the status and take the next step it is if you okay it means successful otherwise uh it is a failure in case of if the status is unknown error or maybe invalid request or over delay limit you want to take now uh, further different actions if it's successful then you want to update the information on lead object now how do you get the key to get a, get the key what you need is you need to create a google cloud project add the billing code as well as then enable google time zone api once you enable it you will see this api is enabled and then you will get the key You can find all this information in my blog uh 179 on my website like this is the blog number 179 which is Salesforce and Google Time Zone integration and how you can connect Google Time Zone API create a project add the billing code and grab the API key so get the key from here once you grab the key then only you can take the next step otherwise if you don't have the key you cannot make a call out to you you can do the call out but you will not get any response from Google Once you have this the next step is go to the salesforce and let's create couple of fields first we want to create the offset field dst offset and raw offset as a number field then we also want to create time zone field so time zone id and name as a text field to store the information as well as i created a current position which is the geo location field what happened when someone filled a form from web to lead uh, it will automatically bring latitude and longitude So let me give you a demo first before we move forward. This is the web to lead form. And I am going to fill this form. And now I'm allowing uh web to lead to access my location so that this form will grab geo coordinates. Now let me go to the Salesforce and if you look at this is the lead that just created and now it has your coordinates as well as all the informations by calling salesforce flow to time zone api and grab the response and i store the response here in the lead this is how it will work in the real time it will also work when you clone this record and it has the current position which is latitude and longitude this will work like for example if i clone this record and wipe out all this information So lead gets created and when i reload this page uh you will see this information get populated awesome now we already created the fields the next step is create a name credentials to go to the salesforce setup click on the name credential 
and then create a name cadence cell. To create a name cadence cell, uh, you need information like URL. So this is the URL. The first part of this is this in our request. So that is going to be URL. Next, uh, we are going to create a flow. This is the process flow diagram for flows. We are going to use an after save flow on the lead, which is run asynchronously because we want to make a call out. And this is also going to be an after save on create. We will check if there is a geo coordinates present, which is current position, latitude, and longitude. If no, then we don't want to take any action. If yes, then uh, we want to make an HTTPS call out to time zone API and wait for Google to give the response. Once we receive the response, we will check if the response status is okay, means it is successful, then update the lead. If the response is, uh, belongs to one of these failure masses, then we want to take that response and create task for the lead owner. All right. So when you create the Salesforce flow, make sure that you select object lead, one lead is created, select latitude and longitude, which is your current position, is not null. And then this is after save flow because we are want to do and call out and run asynchronous check. Next, let's create a formula. This formula will give you the second from midnight one nine uh, first January first nineteen seventy, and this is going to be a number. Now, the next step is to configure HTTP call out. For this, I am going to use action and HTTP call out. Give the name time john api select the name credential next uh, give the, the name for uh, invocable action this is going to be get url now we already give this url in name credential so the remaining this is the remaining url so copy this and put it here there are three parameters location timestamp and key so let's add those as a key here Location is required. I'm saying this is a string. Key is going to be a string. And timestamp, it is going to be integer. The next step is you have to provide the sample request, sample response to invocable action so that it will generate, it will pass and generate an Apex class behind the scene. So now, if I copy paste the response, this will create a data structure. And once you are done, that's pretty much everything you need. I'm going to cancel as I already created the one. Now you see there are three parameters. This is going to be the key that you grab from time zone API in your Google Cloud Console. This is the formula and this is nothing but latitude and longitude. And comma separated. So if you look at here, this is the latitude, comma, longitude. Next is going to be a decision. We are going to check the status of the time zone call out to X status. If it is okay, means it is successful. If the status belongs to one of these, then it means it has failed. When it is failed, we are going to use a record create a statement, which will create a task. Description is going to be the call out status. It is going to assign the lead owner. Priority, you can set the priority and status. I'm going, uh, I connected this task to lead and subject is going to be the response code. When this is successful, drag and uh, add record update statement. Select the fields and map this field uh, from your call out response. Like time your name, uh, DST offset and raw offset. And that's all. Make sure that you save this and activate this. So next time when someone go and fill the web to lead form, and if you if you're grabbing the geo coordinates in your web to lead form, obviously you have to modify that uh, the out of the box web to lead forms to capture geo coordinate. You can put the little JavaScript uh, on it so that once it gets created, uh, if someone fill this form, Salesforce will automatically capture the geo coordinates. Or if someone clone this and provide the geo coordinate, then it will also bring time geo related information. That's all in this video. Feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions or you are stuck somewhere when implementing this in your dev org or for your project. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't subscribed my YouTube channel, please do so. Thanks for your all support.